Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, we are about to make something so stinking cute, but so doggone easy. Stay tuned. So for everyone who's dropped by today, welcome. Really do appreciate you showing up to support my channel. It means the world to me. And I hope if you're not a subscriber that after you watch this video, I will earn your subscribership. And today guys, we are going to make this super sweet triangle box. I get a lot of requests for a triangle box and we're going to make this one Today, this box is actually five and a quarter by one and a half by one and a half. And it is super, super awesome. So easy to make, designed to hold those chocolates, those mints, anything small. You can even drop in some mini nail polishes if you want. But because I get so many requests on how do you make triangle boxes, I am going to show you this very simplified way of making a cute little triangle box that you can fill with goodies and just tuck into a stocking. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and it's going to start with a piece that measures five by eight. So that means that from one eight and a half by 11 inch piece, you can get two of these triangle boxes. So on the five inch side, we're going to score at one and one half, at three and at four and a half. And then we're going to rotate it to the eight inch side and we're going to score at one and three eighths. And then we'll rotate it to the opposite eight inch side and we're going to score at one and three eighths. So those are all of our major scores. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish all of those scores. And I'm going to bring in some white paper in just a minute because you won't be able to see the marks that I'm going to need to make on this. And so I'm going to demo it on white paper. So now that we have it like this, you're going to have this narrow flap here and that's your glue flap. And then you're going to have a wide panel next to it. What you're going to need to do is you are going to need to remove that top wide panel and that corner piece. So I am going to go over to that second score mark and drag straight across. And then I'll drag down to remove that piece. And then I'll come down to this opposite end and I'm going to go over to that second score mark, drag straight down, turn it and drag down this way. So this is what I'm going to have. Now I'm going to bring in my white piece so that y'all can see how it looks. And we're also going to place it back in the scoreboard because we need to make some marks in these panels here. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard. And I am going to place it in first with this piece going in this direction. So the first thing that we need to do is go over to three quarters of an inch and just make a mark. Don't score all the way down, just make a mark. Then go to the two and one quarter inch mark and make a mark. Then we're going to rotate it. I'm just going to take that piece and fold it so that I can get my marks in the same spot. So when I do it this way, so I'm going to make a mark at two and one quarters of an inch and then I'll make a mark at three and three quarters of an inch. So when you have your paper in this way with it facing out here, you're going to make a mark at three quarters of an inch and a mark at two and a quarter. Then when you rotate it and you fold this piece under, pressing it into the corner, you're going to make your first mark at two and a quarter, and then you'll make a mark at three and a quarter. So when you make your marks, this is what it's going to look like. 
So once we have our marks made, we are going to now just go ahead to these two panels here, go up to the score mark, and we're going to drag straight down to free them. And if you've never made a triangle box like this before, you'll probably need to watch this video again because it is different, but it is not a complex process. It's just different. Okay, so now that we have it like this, we are going to make a series of cuts. And the way that we're going to make those cuts is we are going to take our ruler, place it on the mark that we made, then we're going to angle out to the end of that panel and we are going to remove the pieces that we'll have drawn. So we're going to make three marks. So we've got these three marks. These are the three marks that we're going to make. So all we're going to do at this point, you can do it with your ruler. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to take my ruler, place it down and remove that piece. Place my ruler right there. Cut that. And then I'll place my ruler right here and cut that. So this is what you're going to have. And you're going to have this at the top and the bottom. So we've done it on the white section. Now we're going to do it on the actual project piece. And like I said, you only make three mark, three lines, one, two, three, and cut those out. So I am going to take my ruler and repeat what I just did. So basically what I'm doing guys is I am feeling for that little indentation mark I made and I'm removing that. And then I'll do the same thing one more time. So there, we've got that one. I'm gonna rotate it to this side and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna move that out of my way, place my ruler. I don't normally use my ruler, but I will for the purposes of this video. So we're going to place that right there. And then we'll do this one piece here. So we'll come over and just angle there. Okay, so now that we have this just like this. What we're going to do now, and I'll bring the white piece back in. So I haven't done it on this end. I'm only going to work on this end for demonstration purposes. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to take our ruler just like we did before, but we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to take my ruler, take my pen, and I'm going to make another one of those marks, but we're not going to cut it out. That's why I didn't add it to the ones that we were cutting. We are going to score it. Just like this. So this will be a part of how we put this box together. So you're going to have this score and we'll probably, we might have to trim a little bit off as we get further into the project, but let's work on the actual project piece now. So again, I am going to bring it over this time. And this time I'm scoring and not cutting. So I'll do the same thing right here. And guys, I am trying to make this as simple to follow as I can. Like I said, it's just different. It is not complicated. So then I'm going to take this piece, we're going to fold it, take that piece, we're going to fold it, and then I am just going to fold and give that a good burnishing. Then on this piece right here, what I am going to do 
is I am just going to round my ends just a little bit because remember that makes our box close just a little easier. So we've got rounded ends. We have this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here, bring it up, and we'll glue it to this piece. And I don't know if y'all can see that little point that's hanging up there. We don't want that. So if you have a little point that's hanging, just come in with your scissors and nip it. So I am going to go ahead and nip over here as well. So now we can put this cute little box together. So I am going to take my glue and I'm only going to put glue on this part. So you're going to have this piece here that is not a triangle. We're not putting any glue on that. We're simply going to put glue on that very first triangle. Then we're going to just bring it and get our ends nice and crisp, just like we would on any other box. So I'll come in with my bone folder, get that stuck. Then we're going to close this piece and I'll add my glue to that. And so now I'll just get that stuck like so. Then I'll take my bone folder and now these are our tabs that will close in on the side. And so now we can take the front flap and just tuck it in. Before I seal this, I am going to go ahead and just add a few pieces of candy. Okay, so what I have are some little Hershey nuggets. And I am just going to place those inside. You could place some shredded paper on the inside if you want. And then I am just going to close my sweet little triangle box and I'm going to let it rest like that because it'll stay better. And to keep my box closed, guys, I am going to add some very low tech clear tape. And I get this tape from the Dollar Tree and it really isn't the best tape to use if you really wanna hold something down, but it is good tape for a project like this because you can remove it very easily. All right, so now that we have our sweet little triangle box, guys, isn't that cute? It really is easy to make and I'll keep saying it, it's not hard, it's just different. I am going to bring in one of my little bows from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to trim off just a little bit of that on the back because I don't want all of it. I am going to take one of my glue dots that I have cut in half and I'm going to place it right there so that I can mount this to my box. And I'll take it and I'm going to mount it right there in the corner. And then I have another one of my decorative brads and I've removed the prongs. So I am just going to take another one of my glue dots place it on the back and then we're going to put this down in the center of our bow just to give it a little bit of cuteness. Now you could leave it just like that. I think what I'm going to do though is I am going to go ahead and just add this little sticker here that says Merry Christmas because I think it's a cute little decorative touch. And so it really does not take much for us to have something simple, sweet, different that we can use as stocking stuffers. And hopefully for those of you who have been requesting an easy process on making some little triangle boxes, I hope that this helps. I hope that it is something that you are definitely going to be making because trust me, after you make one or two, You've got the process and you're going to be making these all of the time, I promise you. So guys, I hope that you have liked this very quick and different little project. If you have, please hit the like button. For those of you who are not subscribers to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.